Seven Steps to the Temple of Light by Yoranda. Chapter 6. Wisdom. Wisdom is the act of knowing of the one who knows. Wisdom is the active essence of the divine mind of the wonderful one. In wisdom, there is no doubt or shadow of turning. For in wisdom is the conscious knowledge of eternal realities, coupled with the constant radiance of eternal being. The outer intellect knows not wisdom of itself, yet wisdom flows freely through the outer mind when the Blessed One abides in radiant union with the Wonderful One. He who is constantly active in wisdom is he who has ceased self-activity to dwell eternally in the radiant presence of his Father. He who acts under the direction of the intellect no matter how much external knowledge it may pride itself with, is he who comes to naught, finding his acts empty of the real and lasting. He who acts under the direction of I am that I am, abiding in the outer quietness which allows inner activity is he who knows that knowledge is and needs no getting, that wisdom is and needs no outer mind deciding. The Blessed One, who has become a doorkeeper in the house of his Lord, is he who knows that the outer mind is but a servant to the Master. Therefore, the outer mind decides nothing, chooses nothing, but finds its function in obeying every inner direction. The master within decides all questions, and the outer self acts accordingly. The master within solves all problems, and the outer self allows the manifest expression of the solution. Wisdom is of the master within. And he who has not learned to let go to his Lord is he who has no part in wisdom. Wisdom gives perfect direction in all matters, no matter what they are. But that wisdom is released into activity through the outer self at the instant that it is needed, and not before. He who would allow wisdom to manifest through him must first recognize that the servant is not informed of all the future plans and activities of the master. Realizing this, the Blessed One obeys the wisdom which directs him in this present instant, remaining unconcerned about that which shall be. The Blessed One knows that perfect wisdom in action and speech is granted at the instant when the action and speech are required in manifestation. Knowing this, the Blessed One knows the essence of perfect trust. And trusting thus, he has nothing to fear and nothing to worry about. Being one-pointedly centered in the Master within, Blessed One finds eternity in this present instant and acts in the now in accordance with the master's wisdom, which is released through him as may be required in each 
instance. For it is not ye that speak, but the spirit of your father which speaketh in you. Matthew 10.20 This is the way of wisdom. He who would walk therein must abide in the realization of the presence, responding in every instant to the radiance of the wonderful one. Let love radiate.